Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? Pretty good here. Uh, pretty good here. Cold's pretty much gone. Still a little snuffly, but uh, it's winter time too, so you get snuffly just walking outside here. Uh, so, anyways, uh, not a whole lot happened on the weekend here. Pretty, pretty quiet actually. It was a nice kind of quiet weekend. It was really good. Nothing happened, which is nice. <laughs> As you can hear, <coughs> still a little cloggy. <coughs> so. Today in the mail, I got a package that I've been waiting for. Right here, we're going to set you up on the little octopus tripody thingy guy here. And open her up. We got uh, some E Revo parts, the new bulkheads. For that, we're going to try to remember how to put her back together today. Freaking stuff. All over my desk. I had a little problem down here too. You know how the last couple of few days we've been uh, that's your bag. Woo. The last couple of few days we've been uh, oh yeah we've been uh, baiting some traps out there. Well, I left the <laughs> I left the uh, thing of bait there. And I went to get a new block out this morning for it, and I look, I'm like, really? Little turds been in here eating it too, so they must really like it. Ah, <sighs> bloody mice, eh? Bloody mice. I guess they will be after they eat that stuff. Be awesome. I have lots. There's lots to go around. Okay, so there is our part number 729, 7029X. That's the new updated bulkheads for this E-Revo. So first of all, we got to rebuild this differential. I've also got uh, the parts here that we went down to the hobby store the other night. Now they have front bulkheads. They had the fronts there, but not the rears. So I'm like, oh, really guys? Well, there's the new um, pinion. Oh, no, they went off the counter. Oh, the new pinion and ring gear. We're going to rebuild that guy. And uh, rebuild this guy in here. I only need one of these. I got a couple of spares because, you know, it seems like they were kind of hard to get. So we got a couple of spares. So let's get uh, set up here. Someone's texting me. Holy crap. And uh, we'll get set up here and start. Uh, I'm not really looking forward to tearing apart this diff. But uh, let's see what we get into here. All right. I kind of, sort of, just want to take a little picture of this. Just so, when I take this thing apart, it kind of goes back together, sort of the same. Um, so, let's see, you guys, I'm not, uh, I just got to adjust my little thing here, there, a little better. So yeah, this one here, as you can see, has the extra bolt that goes through and it bolts the case together so it doesn't actually split apart and then start wrecking your gears, which that's what happened to this one, unfortunately. Now, of course they don't come with bearings. I probably should have ordered a set of bearings, but I didn't. So, uh, I... I should probably do them all they're apart, but I'm going to take it on a little bit of faith that they're still fine and that they don't need done. So here's hoping. <laughs> now, I think the pinion, yeah, that should be fine. The pinion is preset with the hole. You don't have to adjust that. I don't believe, anyways. Holy tiny parts, eh? Okay, so we'll just kind of leave that like that and that like that. We need to uh, basically replace the metal part. Keep the internal parts. Holy crap, this is small. I'm gonna get this a little blast here, get some of the dirt out of it.
the, get the dirt out of her. Ugh. So, I don't know whether I have to grease anything in this. It's kind of a bit greasy anyways. Holy jumping, I can't even see this bloody thing. Never mind trying to work on it. My old eyeballs. They just aren't what they used to be, I guess. Nice long screws in it. They're pretty tiny. Uh, just kind of thinking you guys maybe aren't in a very good spot there. It probably should be right in front of me. I don't know. Holy crap! I don't even know if this is exactly the right Allen key for this one. This one's kind of not shaped too too well. Man, I don't know. I don't know if it's the light or my eyes, but I'm having trouble seeing little wee tiny things like this now. This does feel grease too. You know what? I don't have any grease. What are we gonna do about that? I mean, I got grease, but it's like it's bearing grease. Okay, I have no idea how these come apart. So looks like that comes off. Got a little seal too. Holy crap. <laughs> Those are some tiny, tiny, tiny pieces in there. Okay, so that's the other differential side. Are they both the same? Okay, so that's... How am I going to keep this? How am I going to keep this? Just gonna take another little picture here. Pictures always help. Because they are different caps. Okay, now these little gears inside here, where are you? Have to come out. And I think they just push out. But I probably should get this one ready to get that. Take take the uh, gears as I get them out. Whoa, geez! Holy crap! This thing is small. Actually, you know what? I might be able to just do something silly like this. silly like this and just kind of shove them through kind of sort of worked kind of sort of in place there okay that's how good my memory is I've already forgot which cap was where holy freaking crap eh okay so the gears down, so this one was on this end. Oh, geez. Now we're losing bits. Wow, these are tiny. So, 
Okay, so that is... yes. That should go on this way. to grease this with. I have no idea. It didn't feel like very heavy grease. Crap, you know what else I forgot too? This guy here had this little wee tiny tiny little rubber seal thing here. <laughs> Jesus is small. Holy crap! This is bloody ridiculous! <laughs> okay, uh, that feels like pretty light grease. Oh, what to use? <laughs> I don't have any RC grease, if you know what I mean. I don't have any of that stuff, so... Holy jumping. Now I gotta try to get all the, uh, the... three holes lined up again, which I think I've actually got them pretty good there, if it'll just stay there. There you can see how those, well, sort of when they're engaged, how the little gears spin in there. It's kind of cool. Well, I'm just going to put a dab of automotive grease in there, I guess. It's automotive. Yeah, I just put a couple of dabs in. I, pff, I don't know. I don't know what to put in there. Okay, well, that'll go through and start to tighten. I'll be happier. Oh, this really hurts my thumb too, trying to hold this tight like this. That a bit loose until these guys get in and started. I think, I think we're good though. So I ordered a new video camera to replace this Sony we're on right now. The uh, this one's been acting up lately a little bit here and there. And I just haven't really been super happy with it, but it's you know it's done me well. So these things, these these wrenches are so small, I can't even hardly feel them when I'm cranking this on here. Make sure it's still turning. Feels pretty good. Uh, yeah. So the uh, I ordered another Sony. A A X. 53 I think it was something like that don't quote me on that until I get her in here and show you but it's a full 4k figured I'd go a little little better camera although I probably won't render stuff into 4k because you know as far as I know a lot of you don't have 4k monitors so my, I don't even have a 4K monitor. Oh my goodness. I only have a 1080p. Okay, that should be good. Everything's still spinning nice, so that's good. <sighs> okay, let's uh, switch over this little drive shaft now. A new pinion. Man, 
Those are tiny bearings, eh? Whew. Wicked, wicked small. Wicked small. Hopefully that grease in that thing will be all right. It's not like a wicked heavy grease, but it's a grease nonetheless. Okay, that pinion I think was still good. It was the uh, the ring gear here that um, had the problem right there. Oh well, that's good. Uh, okay, so that's done. Get these bearings in this new housing. screws and stuff right now so yeah there's the hole that's the hole there that the other one doesn't have here they don't uh, have it on the original ones I guess man these are tiny freaking bearings but they do they do feel fine so they're rolling pretty nice so We'll just reuse them. They're just got a little bit of scrime on the outside of them, but they uh, seem to roll pretty good still there. So, so sole buttons. Uh, that's an old one. That's a new one. Get rid of the old parts. Okay, now, picture time, <laughs> because I have already forgotten. Okay, so these are going this way. And this is going in here. That doesn't seem to be rolling very nice. Not very square. Huh, maybe I have to have this case on then. I need a pinion in there too. Okay, and then that one could go on. Guess it's alright. Okay, <clears throat> now we need this bolt, I think, goes in now. And it goes in here. It goes across, and it's a little bit bigger one here. I think it's got to make its own threads, which it's doing. So that'll keep her tighter now. And then we get this bottom, bottomed in here. Man, my fingers do not want to work. So you'll see this crack here, hopefully, get squished together. There we go. Oh, that kind of opened it up on that end a little bit weird, though. <clears throat> Maybe I went too tight. Probably need to wait until I get it into the truck. Just have to remember to tighten that one on again. Wowee, eh? Okay. So, now the fun begins. I'm trying to remember where everything frickin' goes. I have a horrible memory. I might have to look back on my video to backwards watch how she come apart, but um, I know we have to, uh, of course, put this guy on first. That's the cover for the diff. I'll just blow this off of here. And we gotta get our drive shafts. 
We gotta put our drive shafts, I think, on this thing first. Very, I remember. Um, screws. The ones that were sort of stripped a bit on me. I guess those shafts are okay. They seem to be alright-ish. Get this started first, maybe. There we go. I think they just go flush and we're good. They don't actually tighten. They just hold into the plastic. This one is a little worse, I think. I have a box of RC screws and stuff up at my house. Probably one of them would work, but I think you might be all right here. Give them, giving them some little arms. Little arms. Oh, I just need to get him in a little bit more. Oh my goodness, I cannot freaking even feel these little things. Good. Okay, so that's good. Um, yeah. No, so now, uh, yeah, hmm, okay, now, 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 I forget what to do next. Gotta get this guy lined up. shaft to drive shaft there there ah oh, goodness okay so that's in now I know this thing incorporated it himself into the back side here then those spring Shock thingies were in there somewhere too. What am I? What am I missing? Oh, this is part of it too. From underneath. Holy crap! I'm, I'm missing something. Am I missing something? My wheels. I got my wheels. They're here. They mount on, but they gotta mount on. Uh, huh. I can't remember. Uh, that's pretty bad. <clears throat> There's my shocks. I think they mounted. I can't freaking remember. I have to look for the, the thingy now because I can't remember. It's horrible, isn't it? It's horrible getting old because I do not remember. <laughs> um, num, num, num. Okay, let me do some studying here. And uh, I got all my pins here for my all my that stuff, but I can't for some reason figure out where it all mounts to again now. Um. Well, okay. Uh, we'll figure we'll figure it out here. I think this I think these actually Yeah, that's right. This mounted onto here. So two of them, they should have be actually cleaned up while I got them out, but to heck with it. These mounted onto here, I do believe. Not 
quite right. What am I missing? I need screws. So that's these three. There's another two here. I feel if I put those on now, I'm going to not get those in there. Pretty sure that's where those mounted. That seems a lot tighter than it did before. These do come off, but... Right, all that motor gets held on by that skid plate underneath. Okay, that stupid shaft just came out. Um, for some reason I'm still, okay, so that one arm goes into there. And the other, the other one goes underneath here, okay. <coughs> okay, I just got to make sure I put this together again in the right order. I'm trying to think what goes. And these two here, though, will be. Because that gets mounted into there, and then, then these get mounted onto the side. I think it was like that. It's like that on the front, so it's basically the same on the front, just a little bit different. Um, okay, so now I've lost my drive shaft here again. Okay, and that big plate. That big plate goes down in here. Man, I can't remember the steps now. That's horrible. Just horrible. Oh, that's wrong. It's got to go this way. Shattery here, sorry. Nice camera work. Sorry, I wasn't even really looking at your your shot there. Okay. I think these can go in now. At least to hold the thing together for me. Okay, this is going to take me a minute to screw all these back in, so I'll, I'll just pause for a sec while I drive all these fellers in here. Alright, so I can't 100% remember which ones were in here, but I think it was these guys. Now, I also have to try to make new threads when you screw these in. Which is a little hard on the fingers because it's so much tighter. That looks about right though. Ah, that one there. And of course these just being plastic. 
you don't want to hammer them in too hard. They just kind of got to be snuggish. Oh, goodness. Good. Let's give this guy a little more. Good. Okay, so that uh, that's being held together pretty good there now. This little clip actually helps to hold things together a little bit as well. Okay, so we got. Try to get this thing back in. Tight, but should be able to swiggle her in there, I would think. Stupid thing. Super, 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 super long screws here for this thing. These screw in two also as well. The very front holes in these bulkheads here. Okay, that one goes in there. I think. Make sure I put them up the right way too, I guess. Holy jumping, this is small, eh? Tiny little parts. What did I do with my Allen key? Huh? Oh, it's still in here. Holy crap. These parts are just so freaking small. set right I guess. You guys can't even really kind of sort of see this can you? Unfortunately it's just a uh, not a very good uh, project for trying to film it I guess. Okay, those aren't too bad. Well, these, I think, are these big screws here. Feels pretty good. Once again, I gotta make threads.
I don't think those go wicked tight because they do have to pivot on that, but they gotta go a little more than that. You don't want them binding, right? So. project too because it's so small and my fingers are so, hands are so ridiculously huge. Kind of get in your way with it. <coughs> okay, so that's good. I got that figured out. Now we can mount probably this rear end back on here. And um, I guess the pins just go through. jumping I can't see what I'm doing holy jumping I must say though, this would be easier with some powery kind of tools. But I don't have said powery kind of tools. I'm missing something because this center screw back in here is hard to kind of see I know is not even lined up. Something's, something's not sitting right here somewhere. Unless I just need to Go down some more with it, I guess. Just need to crank her in some more. can't be right. I'm missing something here. What am I missing? This little piece. Where are we here? This thing's sitting like too high here or something. Not even touching. I'm missing something. Hang on. I'll figure it out. I think that has to go slip down inside. I think I'm up too high with it. I think maybe this thing I put on last. I've got to get uh, get all this friggered out here and get her all back together first, because I got to put all these pins back in, I guess. And all these drive shafts screwed together and figured out which one goes where. They fit together nice one way. There. Okay, so this. 
should be in the top one, I think. <coughs> what a mess, eh? Yeah, that's the top. I can't remember. Yeah, let's say that's the top link. Was these big long ones, these long pins. I think I got her backwards. Darn it. I might be fun trying to get this back out of here again. That's the bottom. And they had these little pins. Pins. Okay. Need little pins. Figure out where all these freaking things go now. Holy crap. I don't remember. Oh crap. Well, let me fiddle with this side and then I'm sure I can pro the other side. Hang on a sec here. Okay, I think I got the left side figured out. Everything gets twisted around a bit and then it's a little bit uh, figuring everything out again. So, <sighs> probably would have been easier if I took the wheels off too, but I just leave them on. So, um, okay, so that should be all good. Um, these pins and stuff come in and they get held by this back thing, so that this back wing thing is the last piece to go on. So we gotta go oh, on right on. Nice. those two guys in there they screw right through the back of this thing I got to put that all on after oh man I'm losing more screws out here what the crap get back in there because I'm gonna forget where you go <laughs> okay so that needs to go here this rod for the spring suspension goes through the center of a arm. Uh, oh, that's not the right one. Huh?
Holy crap! Maybe it's I'm just nervous because you know I was putting some of this together on the other side here without recording. I was fine. <laughs> See what I mean? Maybe I'm just got nerves. I don't know. Okay. And this tall pin goes on the top one here. Good. Now that's not being right there yet because I don't have the bottom together yet, the back side together yet. So, but it has to go in there. And that guy goes in there with the little pins. Little pins. Oh man, these are small. Gotta be bang right on, eh? Come on, really? There we go. Okay. pushed in there now. Now we probably could put this on. This is part of the... Uh, oh. It holds everything all kind of together here too. Mounts into those bottom pins. too hard yet. Holy jumping! It's a difference if you can hold her with one hand and drive her with the other. should go. Yeah. Let's 
good. It's good. It's good. See, that's pretty good. All right. Guess it's working. <laughs> it's working. So, I was having trouble with this fitting in here before, but I think it's all right now. There we go. Okay, and then these last big screws screw into the back and hold those stabilizer arm bar thingies. Oh, this really hurts my thumb joint. Um, last screw the wire, then I just gotta screw in these other three. Hopefully, she's all good. There we go. Okay, I'm not sure why, but that doesn't seem to want to be going in there. been fernickety. Already the last screw on the skid panny thing here. Just double check them. I think they're all good. Reassembled. Wow. That kind of sucked, that job. <laughs> well, it wasn't really too bad, but um, wasn't super, 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 super fun. All right, so we're going to just give her a little test here, make sure everything sounds, sounds the way it should sound. I think these batteries are fine. They haven't really had a good, a good run, really, so they should be all right still. And that one to that one. <clears throat> that one to that one. <clears throat> that one to that one. And. Sound a little funny in there. Sounds a little funny. Uh, but anyways, let's fire it up. Hopefully I got enough battery left in my remote here. Oh, actually, that did melt a bit, too. Who that stinks. Oh, look, rubber. Rubber. <laughs> oh, that smells bad. Okay, I guess we'll take her out. It's a little snowyish out there today, but... Uh, oh, crap. I don't have any body clips here. 
darn it. I don't have any body clips down here with me. It's not one to participate with me anyhow. There. There's a little snug kind of a fit for some reason, but uh geez, let me see. I don't think that'll stay on there without clips. Yeah, that's just gonna flop right off on us. So I'll have to find a little chunk of wire or something. Okay, so if you remember before she was snapping oil and accelerating. Ooh. Can't tell where we are. Better put you out here somewhere. Out in the winter. Stupid fast, eh? Stupid fast. Oh, that's hurt on the paint job. Happy now. No snapping sound. very much now. <laughs> uh oh. Well, she's still got uh, four wheel drive anyways. Slipping or something. Ooh, geez. That's frickin' stupid fast, though. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're good. Okay, that's enough. I don't want to break something. Holy frickin' crap, that thing is fast. Donuts are so awesome. <laughs> oh, there we go. Fixed. We fixed. Oh, there we go. That's what that box is for. Someone was asking the other day. That's what that box is for. I had one tire 
kind of coming loose on the back corner there. I have to uh, tighten it up, but I don't have a Dewey down here. Small enough to get inside the tire. It comes in the kit with it. It should be in there with it, but I didn't put it in there. So, uh, so there we go. Ready to rock again. Well, I do have provisions for doing the front too. But it's uh, it's okay. I'm not going to worry about it right now. It uh, it seemed like it was fine still. So we're going to have a look a closer look at the gears on this guy. All right. I don't know how great the light is here, but that is the bad spot. You can see the teeth have been kind of mushed. Well, the first one, two, three, four, five into the sixth one, I guess there. Basically that uh, pinion gear was just skipping off of that. Get you a little closer shot here. So yeah, you can see how rounded they are compared to nice peaky ones like those. Eh? They've uh, really got mushed there pretty hard. But uh, funny enough, the rest of it's Good. I think one I seen had a chip out of it. And yeah, that guy there's not too good. That one there's not too good. That one had a big chip out of her there. So that's that's not too good. And then she just went downhill from there. So hence our click 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 noise. So there we go. Replaced. Okay, so our nice yummy mouse bait here I had in here. I didn't really think I had a problem with mice in here, but uh, apparently I do now. They found this stuff. And I just totally opened that the wrong way. They found this and have eaten some of these almost all gone too. So I'm like, what the crap? Maybe this stuff isn't even working. I don't know. That's definitely been eaten. This one's been eaten. I replaced the ones outside in that trap today, so they're new. And I put one one down here in the corner. They say you're not supposed to just leave them like that because they will kind of carry them away. But uh, I guess they could make it a little more difficult for them. A little more difficult I'll probably still be able to get that and uh, yeah so that and I just threw one in and around the corner back here uh, so I'm not too happy about that I've got quite a mess in there but I got a little something setting up here <laughs> gonna see if I can catch them tonight in a regular trap and I set up a couple of these on my counter here uh, they've been on my counter. I can see the odd little turd. I'm like, little turds. And I got a camera set up. One of the other cameras I got from Starputs that I haven't even used yet. And she's set up <laughs> to, to view that. So uh, I don't really morbidly want to see a mouse get killed, but I want to see if they'll, uh, if the trap will work. Now it's not super good because it's kind of brightish as you can see, but. We should be able to see him come at it here. I think maybe if I turn this a little more that way, it might be better. I don't know if I want to get a real good close shot of him. See, I could put her down like here, but it's too bright almost. That's not actually too bad right there, you know that? I've got two traps here. I'm gonna rebait a little bit better I've actually got some peanut butter here too, and I've just kind of smushed in some of that mushy granola bar. Yeah, 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 zaya! Holy cow! Man! There goes the heart. Holy! Super sensitive, hey? So I just want to basically set these down here and have a look at them, but. I, I like using those electronic traps too, where it actually like electrocutes them. Again, that's kind of morbid, but you know what? It's, it's a good way to control them. Hi, 
ya, ya, ya. Jeez. This guy's gonna just ah, just sniff on this one and it'll freaking go off on him. I might have her set a bit too. I can't even set the thing down without it going off there. Okay, man. Okay, so we got uh, those set up there, and uh, probably that's not going to be the official spot. But I turn that off. That'll make the camera go to night vision. See, they won't even know that I'm, I'm watching them. They can see a little, little bit of a glow there, but um, yeah. So uh, let's get this to uh, a full screen. A little blurry there too, isn't it? It's maybe a bit too close. Well, I can always move it back a bit. Like if I move. Uh, <laughs> I don't like them. It's not too bad. That might be pretty good. And we'll be able to see them at this one and bam! Kind of probably should have it more. Jeez! Okay, I gotta get this set up. I can't do it while I'm holding the camera. Hang on a sec. Ha! Huh. Okay, I think that's gonna be it. And then uh, one of them hopefully should nail them. I should probably pick those ones up off the ground, those uh, feeding blocks. I'll leave the ones outside and then they'll. Uh, Hopefully come in here and find these tonight. Anyhow, I'll leave that juice in there for tomorrow. We'll see uh, if we get uh, any footage of mouse getting squashed. Not very nice, I know, but you know what? I like to kind of see what's going on too, right? You could come down in the morning, yeah, I'm sure there's a mouse in there, but it'd be nice to know, like, you know, what kind of time they're out and stuff and and uh, stuff. So hopefully they're uh, sensitive enough that it just goes bang. <laughs> without question you know and uh yeah so anyways i guess that's our boot her for today look at that we're looking at it right there that's kind of cool isn't it <laughs> just charging up that little battery again here i just topped it up with a little bit of water I'm just gonna see if it's gonna hold a charge i don't know it might not it might be junk but uh, anyways there we go oh anyways that's it for today she's cold out here Woo. We got a little bit of snow we were supposed to get like 15 centimeters and this is all we got <laughs> barely enough barely enough to cover the grass so that's all right i don't mind i freaking hate snow <laughs> i don't like winter at all <coughs> why do i live in canada then i don't know i'd rather live in arizona in the winter time <laughs> not maybe in the summertime anyways yeah that's it for today apparently tomorrow i turn another year older great and thank you very much <laughs> uh, so yeah don't exactly know what we're doing tomorrow but uh, figure something out I guess uh, check and see if we've caught mouse mouses mices mices mousies mousies and uh, yeah go from there so anyways uh, look how dirty my truck is holy crap I went for a little ride yesterday there and Went on one road that was a sort of a back road and holy crap, got covered. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, so have a good night. Thanks again for watching and we will catch you tomorrow maybe.